coming for you with the mind state of liberation, coming from a long legacy of battle stars and freedom fighters. I acknowledge my duties of truth and justice as a soul bomber's nation representative, and I'm a humble servant of my community. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. This is your boy, uh, the Chairman Jabari, or some people call me Daddy Watoto when it's dealing with um, a lot of stuff with Watoto from the Nile. But basically, man, we here. It's, it's a new year. Happy New Year to you. Um, which best wishes for you for this year. Uh, but we this year I've decided that I'm holding no punches. No no punches will be held. We gotta go hard. Like here in Baltimore, what you call Tubman City, our people dropping like flies. The death total is crazy. Astronomical. And all over the country, it's the same thing in the major cities where black people reside. And one we gotta ask the question, like what's going on? What's happening in our community? There's some planned chaos. Many people don't want to talk about different conspiracies, different things. There is certainly a conspiracy to get rid of black people. Definitely. And one of the things that we have to look at is our music. Is media. But specifically, let's talk about the music that our young people, our children, not just children, but adults are listening to or are addicted to. Because some people say, well, it's the beat. The beats are banging. No. I hear so many great artists that's out here today. That great beats. Great beats. Great production. But they can't get inside the industry because the industry is locked down by certain people, certain individuals who don't want the message to get out to the people. So you can't have people like we used to have Chuck D, Public Enemy, and, and, and KRS-1s and those different people who used to be able to get on the airwaves. It's only open now to negativity, death, and destruction, sex, and drugs. That's it, period. And many people don't want to talk about this. They say some people just don't want to deal with it. I, I don't listen to the music. I don't want to listen to it. I don't listen to that anyhow. No way. And you just turn the ear and you just don't know what's going on or what your children, what your grandchildren, what your nieces, your, your, your nephews or whatever. You don't know what they're listening to. So now this got this is has has to it has to change. It has to change. Something has to change. So what we've done with Watoto from the Nile, we have provided a formula and we call it the LGE, life giving energy. We got a group of girls, five to five to six girls, um, young ladies, uh African Americans, Africans, uh, who speak conscious, who speak inspiration, who speak life who give information for inspiration for the purpose of elevation. And this is what they do. But yet some people don't seem to understand what it is that we're doing. That's why you can have people like we, um, uh, Dej Loaf, Dej Loaf, who talks about, I'm going to kill your whole family. And then she'll go on to get millions of hits, millions of hits on YouTube because she talks about death and destruction. You may have your people like, yeah, yeah, Little Mouse and these people from Chicago who talk about death and destruction, but they are getting millions of hits on YouTube, getting booked for shows like crazy. So we here to say that, you know, we if there's a righteous army that's out there that's backing, uh, that, 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 that plans on making a change in the community, stop complaining and whining, but get involved. And some of you may not be able to get involved on certain levels. Some of you may be able to you know, contribute to buy the products, buy different products and all. Some people may just be able to share our information. Subscribe to the YouTube page. YouTube page. Get other people to subscribe to the YouTube page. You know, so, you know, it's time for us to stop talking and to start doing some things. Now, I wanted to talk specifically today because we're going to be doing these uh, critiques of some of the songs that you find out today. Now, this can get a little vulgar. I'm it's not my words, but obviously I think a lot of y'all don't know what these rappers are saying on the radio. And and on the radio is just as bad because you put the songs on the radio and you just bleep out the words, but we know what the words are. That's if you <laughs> seriously understand what the rapper is 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 saying, but you you know your mind can pick up what it's supposed to be, the negativity within uh, some of these words, some of these words. Now, I wanted to talk about Young Thug today. 
and just so happened to run past because I got to keep my ear to the street to know what's going on. It's one of the hottest songs I hear that's in the club right now. This is a young man who runs around with skirts and little children, um, dresses, uh, yeah, dresses up like uh, <laughs> a little children gear, little girl gear. And uh, you can go just check it out. Google Young Thug. Um, where's children dress? Uh, you can Google, you can go to YouTube, and you can find Young Thug. But they say he's not um, homosexual, whatever. That's what he says, that he's not. But Google it. I mean, it's a guy that's confused. When they asked him, he did an interview, they asked him about, what about Ferguson? He said, oh, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. We out here getting money. We getting money. We turning up. You know, that's what he said about it. I want to, before we go into this, I love hip-hop. I love our people. I love black people. And as the honorable Elijah Muhammad said, we got to love our people more than they hate themselves. But I do know and I can I can tell when our people are being used, being used for death and destruction. And this is happening all over the place. So what I'm what I'm calling out is people that's being used by the system of racism and white supremacy. And while we while we speak it on race, racism, white supremacy, I like to just, you know, um, be thankful for the life of Dr. Francis Cress Wells and who just transitioned um, just a few days ago. So our elders are, you know, starting to transition and we got to step into place. That's why it's like we ain't pulling no punches no more. So let's go right into this thing. This guy, Young Thug, uh, and we can go into many of his songs. We're going to go into this song called uh, That's My Best Friend. And I'm going to read some of these words. Please don't be offended at me. I want you to understand what's coming out the mouth with your children, what our children, what our children are saying out of their mouths. I want you to understand and I want you to look at this. OK, and just in case you didn't know, first of all, go to YouTube. I hate to give him hits on YouTube, but, you know, for study purpose, go to YouTube and look up Young Thug Best Friend because you'll find the actual video there. And you can look at the disgusting video. At the beginning of the video, it's him, like he got a woman um, that's on top of him. And then it turn around, and then it's, it's him, his his man face that's there. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's a lot of crazy stuff on there. But when I first heard this song, I said, man, we got to do a review on it. Because really, I think that uh, people are not really paying attention to the lyrics. They can't be paying attention to the lyrics. Can't be at all. So... I'm going to read these, like, read this lyrics, please, again, don't be offended, so he goes on, you know, he said, this is the thing, he said, that's my best friend, that's my best friend, flexing big old booty, bitch, missus from Texas, what's next is, I'm going to skeet off, little nigga come catch me, catch me, and that's my bestie, that's my bestie, my best friend, go best friend, nigga living TTG, and everything still on fleet. Bad bitch rolling with me. She gonna smile cause she on fleet. This is the actual words of the so- other song. Makes barely any sense. However, this is what our children are saying. Now, I'm just gonna read from the first verse. I'm reading this to you cause I'm trying to make it real for you. Because like I said, I, obviously people don't know what's going on, what's being said. Don't know what your children are listening to. So this is what it is says, take them boys to school, swung gummery, bitch, I'm bleeding bad like a bumblebee, hold up, hold up, hold up, nigga proceed, I'ma eat that booty just like groceries, groceries, I'ma eat that booty like groceries, eat on the coochie, lay the bitch down, like, let's do it, no tiger, bitch, eat the wood, eat the wood, supplier, bitch, I got pistols, no wood. I want them tacos that are megan good. Helicopter chopping with the buzz. Stuff them racks inside them. It stuff them racks inside them if they nudge. Bang that other side, nigga curb, and my reefer louder than a speaker. Yeah, my nieces, yeah, yeah, my nieces hanging with the Beatles. If you ever find her. Better keep her. 37 cameras for the sneakers going out like Ox or Benny Siegel. Send a a cop. I can't wait to mistreat him. Forcing your hole. I can't wait 
to mislead them and beat them. They ain't my people. Then he goes back in. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. First of all, wanted to go over that. What are we what what are we doing? I go to birthday parties, little children parties. This is planned. Skating ring. This is planned. What are we doing as a people? And then we talk about we really talk about we want to stop the killing. We want to stop what's going on in the community, the vibe that's in the community, and we let our children listen to this garbage because that's what it is. People talking about this art, he expressing where he come from and all that kind of stuff. It's crazy. This is the system that says, hey, we ain't letting no positive hip hop get on the radio. That ain't that's not gonna happen. Not on our stations. It's a rotation, something called rotation. They put these same songs in every city. Every city where these big corporate white folks come together and decide what's gonna be played and what's gonna be put on a radio station. And we let our people listen to this. And for most of you adults, I'm holding you accountable because you have children. If you don't have your own personal children, it takes a village to raise a child. And you should be standing up for your people. Now, what we're doing, we want you. We're trying to start this movement, the LGE Life Giving Energy Movement. It's been going on for a while. We want you to be a part. If you ain't got no money, ain't got dollars, we don't, we don't care. But if you're listening and you're looking at this, go to subscribe to our YouTube page. Because now we got to be able to compete. I got these young girls, young Watoto from the Nile, who taking a stand, who doing something different than other folks are doing. I had a guy, I posted a video of um, one of my, my daughters rapping, writing a song, positive lyrics, talking about forgiving. Something that we need in the community, in our black community. Talking about forgiving. And some knucklehead gets on there talking about, this is not what I come to this channel for. I understand a young girl is trying to do something positive, but I come to this channel to um, get intellectual knowledge. What are you talking about? Oh, you know, oh, and he said, also went on to say, what is this young girl? She's rapping. What is she doing different in the community? Obviously, than other rappers. You ain't heard no Watoto from the Nile songs. Because all we talk about, we, we Letter to Little Wayne, um, 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 uh, the song Nightmare, Trayvon Martin. You ain't heard nothing about a song. You didn't even give it a chance. If the children are our future, do you even care? Do people even care that the children are our future? Do that? Do you? Do you really care? Because you would care that we do have somebody that's positive. We Watoto for the now is the only female, the, one of the only groups that's out there that's talking about consciousness, and definitely one of the only female groups that's out there, because the industry doesn't doesn't promote um, um, pump or promote um, uh, groups anymore. They don't. They want just individuals, individuals running around here and there. You know, groups is something that's strong. Unity. So, look, we want you to, you know, to subscribe to the YouTube page. And listen, we'll be doing more breakdowns of these different lyrics. Um, we'll be doing it um, every few days, uh, weekly, you know, to let people know what's going on. But get involved and get down with the LGE life or love giving energy and i don't even think we like to hear stuff that's positive positive music people don't like to hear that because our minds are so corrupted even the conscious people our minds are so corrupted we love that music that's out there because we're addicted to it i'm not saying you got to take this music just take it all from them but you got to provide some balance to your children to you and for your children then you wonder why you're walking around so depressed and wonder what's going on. i don't know what's wrong with these children you what's wrong with these children because you let them actually listen to it without providing a balance. So what we're doing is, I mean, man, I, you know, I, I I write songs. You know, the girls write songs. I done wrote over like 200 songs that I've written. You know, y'all want to check them out. You can get some. I'll put some of the links in here with some of the music you can go and get for free. I want you to share this, you know what I'm saying, and, and subscribe to the YouTube page. Some of the stuff you can go and you can support our work. If you support it, because it ain't just about talking, it's about providing a solution to the problem. So, brothers and sisters, it's time to get busy. The LGE, we ain't holding no punches. If some of that uh, lyrics that you just heard was offensive, it's not my lyrics. That's Young Thug lyrics um, being brought to you by 
the gangsters in the industry, the white folks, the people who own the record labels, the record companies, who's actually putting this stuff out in cahoots with many of the radio stations all throughout the country. They want our children to be killers, Frankensteins. They're pro- they programming our children like computers, like Frankenstein, man. That's what they're doing. And we got to stand up and fight back. And we got to realize that if we don't fight back, that we're going to die. We got a slogan that says, unify or die. That's the slogan. We're going to bring that back full time. Thank you for listening. And I'll put the links in. If you like the music, you want to get some of the music, you want to get down with the movement. Hey, man, go to our like page. We're Toto from the Nile um, uh, on, on Facebook. Um, we're on Instagram. Just check us out. Get a part, Be a part of the movement. Let's help to put some uplifting lyrics out there, man. Let's fight back. All my righteous soldiers, let's fight back. This is a war, man. This is a war. Peace.